think the next slide, they want, they, this was the very first picture they took using this camera. They wanted to compare it with the very first picture took ever. This is the, uh, this is the, the, the first uh, picture ever taken in 1826 um, and, uh, of, of a farmhouse. And uh, the point was that the image quality of that was sort of comparable to the image quality that, <coughs> that they have, they got there. So they're, of course, with further refinements to the technology, they should get beyond this stage and, and, and do better. Um, yeah, by the way, yeah, oops. Yeah, oops. The very first picture ever took eight hours to, uh, to take. So it's a, it's a big difference from today. Um, here's another image. Um, okay. They can do colors. Um, I mean, they, you, can, you can modify the algorithm to, to, to take color images and so forth. Um, okay, and so on and so forth. Okay, but you, you get the idea. All right. Let me uh, we'll go back to the. Uh, okay. So, um, all right. So, I, I talk about this, this sparse model where you, you, um, you have this, um, this sparse data x and you measure ax uh, exactly. Um, you can do kinds of. You can, um, the whole, the whole method is very robust. You can handle uh, more general models, too. I'll just give two examples of this. Um, so one example is, is a noise model, where your measurements are actually so, uh, noisy. So you know, this is, for example, what would occur in, in this camera. There's, there's all kinds of, of mechanical imp imperfections and noise, and maybe some smoke in the air or something that will cause um, some noise. So you are, you are um, not measuring ax in practice. You're measuring a ax plus, plus z. So um, your, your solution is not actually, um, yeah, so, um, so B is not actually equal to AX, it's, it's only close to AX. But um, that's not hard to solve. You, so instead of minimizing over all X such that AX equals B, you minimize over all X such that AX is, is close to B. Um, and that turns out to, to work pretty well. Um, maybe, because I'm short of time, let me just skip to the picture. So this is the exact model where you, you know AX, ex oops. You're given AX exactly, and you get back X exactly. If you, are, if you have noise, and you, have, uh, you have only have AX approximately, you can only hopefully get X approximately, but that you can do. So, so here is the, uh, the, um, uh, the more general situation. Here is your original data X. AX will be given by a line like this, but you're, you're measuring AX um, imperfectly. So you only measure B, which is um, something close to AX, but not actually equal to AX. So AX equals B now is a little bit off. From, um, from X itself. Okay, now this, um, this region between the two red lines, this is the set of all points where AX is close to B. And it'll be something like, like a cylindrical domain. And so inside the cylinder, what you can do is, is that you can, you can minimize the L1 norm in the cylinder. And you, 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 you take this, this, this pointy octahedron, and the first point where it touches the cylinder, that is your minimizer, that's, that's the X star. And you see now in this picture that uh, your image that you recover is not quite uh, X itself. It is, it is uh, a bit far away from X um, it, because, because of the noise, but it's reasonably close. Um, if you have an epsilon amount of noise in your measurement, you, it, what turns out is that you're roughly at an epsilon of noise in your recovery. And you can't hope to do any better than that because, uh, I mean, you don't know what the noise is. And so, uh, uh, okay. So, th there, there, there is a theoretical result um, which guarantees uh, that uh, this, this works. Uh, that, uh, well, okay, very roughly, if your matrix has this wonderful RIP property and you have noise of size epsilon, then the, the error, when you reconstruct the data, that the, uh, the, your recovery is, uh, the error is at most constant times epsilon, and that's, that's, the, that's the best you can do, um, other than improving the constant. Okay, this has some applications to uh, statistical selection. Um, but, uh, okay, maybe I won't uh, talk about that. Okay. Um, okay, so that's, um, that's one thing that can happen. The, um, yeah, the other thing I should say is, is in applications, uh, the, saying that, that, that this is a, a sparse, um, is, is, oh, I'm over time, uh, yeah, okay, this is, the last, this is the last thing. So, um, so saying that it's sparse is, um, is, uh, is, is not completely realistic. Uh, in applications, you, your, your, your signal is not exactly zero outside of a small set. It it's, it's, uh, has s large coefficients and then a tail uh, of, of much smaller coefficients. Um, and so your signal is not actually sparse. It's what's called compressible, that um, you, you can throw away this tail, and you get a, a sparse solution, a sparse object which is close to your original solution, but not actually equal to, to it. 
Um, and then what happens is that uh, if you're taking only S measurements, the best, in the ideal, uh, if you're taking only S measurements and you have a tail, you can't reconstruct all the data uh, in both the, 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 the S big coefficients and the tail. There's just too much data and not enough measurements. But what you can hope for is that maybe your measurements will at least capture the S largest coefficients and not capture the rest. It will just throw that away. So the best you can hope for is to, is to get some sort of what's called a, a, a hard thresholding where you, you keep the S largest coefficients and you throw the rest away. Um, and that we can basically do. Um, yeah, so th there's, there's a theorem that says that, um, that if you have any data, arbitrary data with, with arbitrary tail, and you have this, this RIP property, then the solution that you get from this L1 algorithm is, um, uh, is, cl is, is as close, almost as close as you can hope for. Um, that the, uh, the distance between your recovered solution and your actual solution is only four times worse than what you could have done if you only took the S largest coefficients which is sort of the, the ideal S measurements you could take. And so, you know, this, 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 this funny algorithm actually is, is in some sense within a factor of four of, of the best thing you could do with, with S measurements ever. Um, okay, and there's some other technical things. But actually, yeah, I'm, I'm way over time, so I will, I will stop and thank you very much. Okay.